here's the draining bolt and it looks like it's leaking something the pump doesn't fit the cap of this uh, gallon of water Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too I'ma put a ride on ya, get from California Trying to make it in life, it's school that never taught ya Dreams of my own, I've been working from home I can do it on my own, but sometimes it gets cold like What's up everybody welcome back to another video today we are gonna be changing the gear oil on Jackie I guess you guys saw I just got my my G fuel because I am hella tired and actually one of you commented on one of my last videos saying that I looked hella tired and yeah, I do. I do. I am tired. I'm hella tired because I do work overnight and then I get off around 7 30 or 8 in the morning and then I just continue my day. So I'm a little tired, but that's why I got some G Fuel and I'm super stoked because I've never seen this one. Blue eyes. Can't wait to try it out. But yeah, so pretty much we're going to be changing the gear oil on the Skyline. I do have. A little bit of grind when I'm in the third going into fourth or when I'm in the fifth shifting down to fourth it grinds just a little bit and I've been easy on the transmission because I don't want to really mess up the gears so I've been baby shifting but hopefully today with this gear oil that I got would help out so let's see what happens G fuel everybody blue ice let's see what this tastes like Ah, oh, man, it's hard. It's good. It has like a like a raspberry flavor. It hits a little hard, but that's what I need to wake up. That's a little spot. <laughs> All right, guys, this is such a nice view right here. Check it out. I love this place. Let me show you guys what I actually got. So I ended up getting some Redline uh, gear oil. I got five quarts for Jackie. And I've never actually done the gear oil or transmission oil change. So this is going to be my first time. I've obviously Googled it. I've YouTubed it and it honestly doesn't look that difficult but like always you never know what ends up happening so i ended up going with the redline heavy shock proof gear oil this thing is not cheap these things 
are pretty pricey, but you end up getting what you pay for. And so here are the five quarts of red line oil. So, oh yeah, one last thing. I ended up going to Harbor Freight and I bought myself a little pump because I know I'm gonna need this. This thing was pretty cheap, it's like $8. So hopefully it works and I don't end up with no oil in her because that would not be good. Remember guys, pick up your G Fuel at 7-Eleven. Not even tired anymore. So now that you guys have seen what I got, let's go back home and hopefully I can do this gear oil change because I don't know, I'm not about to pay like a hundred dollars at a shop for something so simple to do. But like I said again, I don't want to end up with no gear oil in there because that would not be good. All right guys, so let's head on home and let's see if I can do this. So I just found a shitload of rust underneath the car. And I don't think it's a good idea to have the car jacked up with the jacks and jack stands because I feel like it's just gonna freaking make a hole at the bottom of the car. So what I'm doing is putting these bricks, hopefully they don't crack. I don't think they should crack. They're pretty flat. I was gonna do four, but it's getting the car a little too high. So I'm gonna be doing three, three high on each side. And then from there, I'm gonna see how much room I have underneath after I let the jack go. Lift up the back because I know, I know you guys are gonna tell me the car has to be even. And I believe me, I would have it even if I had like a shop or a, a lift to use, but I'm doing this in my front yard, so. This is gonna have to do. This is gonna have to do. <laughs> so, I definitely feel a lot safer with these bricks underneath the wheel rather than having the jack. And, you know, although the car may look clean, I'm starting to see a ton of rust everywhere. these for extra safety although I do have the car in first gear and the e-brake works pretty good so. Yep. so here's the draining bolt and it looks like it's leaking something Ugh. definitely not good but it doesn't really drip on the floor, so it's just a little wet. And right over here is the bolt that I need to get to. Let's see if I can loosen that up. There we go. It's fucking tight. There we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil. Hopefully this one's not a pain in the butt. Simple as that. I've never really done this before. Honestly, I was just a lot more nervous about putting the car up because I know this thing is rusty as hell, but <laughs> definitely a lot safer with that. I got the jacks, jack stands. Um, I got the jacks under there just for extra safety. God, I wish I had a, a lift.
honestly I almost gave up on doing this just because I couldn't get the car up I didn't want to have the car up just on the jacks I actually went back in my room and I was sitting there for like 10-15 minutes and I'm like I gotta do this if you approach life with everything in the mindset of oh this can go wrong or this can go wrong or I might not be able to do this then you're definitely not gonna be able to do it figured out a way to get the car up in a more safer way than just the jacks and the jack stand um, and so I just I'm like I gotta do this you gotta do this boys don't give up so this thing is pretty much done draining just a little drops right there this thing only spit out about three and a half quarts of oil so it might have been missing oil I don't know but I'm gonna plug it back up and we're gonna start pumping oil that's gonna be exciting I did end up buying some red RTV just to uh, seal up the bolt um, it was dripping just a bit so I don't know if that's why I only had three quarts in there but I'm gonna be adding this red RTV to uh, just secure the oil a little bit better just a little bit of ketchup boys So I ran into a little bit of an issue. The pump doesn't fit the cap of this uh, gallon of water. And even if it did, like it just won't scroll in there. Even if it did, it wouldn't reach the very bottom. It only goes halfway. So I'm gonna end up cutting the gallon, putting in the gear oil in the bottom. So all this is gonna be cut and then I'll just kind of hold the pump down to suck up the oil. <laughs> So this isn't too difficult. I'm just gonna run the hose in there. That's all we needed. Now I need to start pumping this thing in there. pretty simple a lot easier than the oil change because of the stupid filter but anyways it wasn't it was super easy to take off both drain and fill plugs and now I am just gonna go test drive the car so so far no more grind from third to fourth and no more grind from fifth to fourth now so that's a good thing
on my way over here super smooth i actually didn't hear third going into fourth grind and then i also didn't hear downshifting into fourth from fifth to fourth so i don't know did redline fix the car it was super easy to do the gear oil change on the skyline and i want to take this moment just to tell myself because i always watch my videos and i like to see how much i progress through you know dealing with each car owning the skyline is definitely teaching me a lot of things i'm doing a lot of stuff that i haven't done to the cars like i've never converted two coil packs i've never done gear oil changes i've never even you know attempted to install a fuel pump and to do that on this beast right here it's just a good feeling like i told you guys earlier i pretty much gave up because i wasn't too sure on if i was going to be able to loosen up one of the bolts either the fill plug or the drain plug and just getting under the car not having the proper equipment sucks so I went inside and then I started watching YouTube videos and I was just like I need to go out there and do this I need to go out there and do this gear oil change I bought the gear oil I've had it in my head for about a week now that I'm gonna do this gear oil change on the skyline and then uh, you know kind of lost motivation but like I said I want to remind myself to not give up if you think about something that you want to do to your car or do anything in life in general go ahead and do it it's not going to take an hour two hours it's not going to be something quick but we're going to do it you know if people out there people in shops can do it then we can do it too just a little a little reminder to myself and yeah it's not easy owning this car especially if you don't know people if you don't know people who know stuff it's gonna suck you're gonna have to do your research and if you've never done anything like you know fuel pump or maintenance stuff like that on your car it's gonna suck but it's not impossible you can do it i can do it and we'll see what else i end up doing to this car little by little i've been gaining confidence and this car is teaching me a lot guys this car is literally making me work and i'm definitely learning a lot so who knows what the future holds maybe i'll end up doing an engine swap one day <laughs> i don't know i don't see uh i don't see having the rb out in my backyard just chilling one day waiting to replace internals and whatnot but anyways guys this is gonna be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video